I have a friend who moves through life at zero capacity. She has a full-time job, she runs a business, she's raising a family, and she travels when she can. She's exhausted almost all the time and her health is suffering, but she can't seem to make the time to care for herself. And I know she's not alone in her struggle, right? This is the thing that we do, especially as women. I think this is the thing that we do. We let our own care fall by the wayside as we build our businesses, as we build our careers, as we take care of our families. So in this episode, we're unpacking how to align with your own highest good in the new year so that you have capacity for a full life while you're building your business or your career. Welcome to Unjaded. I'm your host, Vicki Dixon. This is a podcast with a human design spin on building the life, the relationships, and the business that you were made for. Let's dive in. There's an epidemic that's been going on for far too long. You've probably been dancing with it yourself for years, not understanding how to break free. It's that feeling of living in Groundhog Day, doing the same things over and over and over again, telling yourself that someday, once this gets done or that gets done, you'll take time to get some exercise, to get a good night's sleep for once in the last 27 years, or to make space for your own emotional health. But the thing is that day never comes. We spend our days in this perpetual loop of building something, a business, a career, a family, a project, while neglecting ourselves. Denise Duffield Thomas always says, you are the golden goose. You can't kill the golden goose because you are the golden goose, but we get it backwards. Instead of focusing on who we are, we focus on the process of doing the things and or the result that we're going after and we don't care for the golden goose. So what I'd love to talk with you today about is in, what if instead of working hard, instead of earning your keep and hustling, but you know, you have to make it look effortless on the outside because that's a movement or a trend too right now, right? It's all got to be effortless, but inside you're dying because you're killing yourself to make it look effortless. So what if instead of that, you stood powerfully in your highest potential? What if you start with who you are and see what happens? What are your strengths? What did you come here to say and do? Who are you here to be? We tend to look at purpose as this elusive thing outside of ourselves, as this thing that we need to continually search for. But I've got good news for you. Your purpose is not something that you do. Your purpose is who you are. And that may be good news, or it may be like, oh my gosh, what do I do with that, Vicky? So 100% of the time when I sit with someone and look into their human design, they're already living out their purpose on some level. It may not be the moneymaker in their life, but they know why they're here on a cellular level. And you know why you're here on a cellular level. You came here with a gift. That's where you want to create your year from. You don't want to create your 2024 from all of the external noise around you, from everything that everyone else says that you should be or that you need to be going after. Felicia Hatcher has this YouTube video and I'll link it in the show notes for you. It's so powerful. It's super quick, like I think a minute or a minute and 30 seconds. And she asks a powerful question. Who am I uninterrupted? If this hadn't happened, if I hadn't gotten off track there, if I honored who I am above all else, who would I be? And that's what I'd love for you to contemplate as we cross the threshold into 2024. Who are you really? In your human design, where you are defined, so those are the places that are colored in on your chart. That's the gates that are colored in, the channels that are colored in, the centers that are colored in, your type, all of that is who you are. What we tend to do though, is rather than standing powerfully in who we are, we amplify what we are not. We take in all of these messages from everywhere around us for our entire lives, and we identify with them. We identify with who we are not. And then we live from this place of who we are not. In human design, this is called the not self. I get this question a lot. People will say, well, I don't know what that means, Vicky. What is the not self? The not self is your openness. The not self is all of the places that are white in your design, all of the things that are not there for you in your design. Now we all have all of the chart. You'll have access to them at different points in your life. But for the purposes of this episode, we're talking about who you actually are, which is where you're defined. So when you live your not self, that brings up feelings of anger and frustration and resentment and bitterness and disappointment. And what that looks like in real life is, let's say your head center is undefined in your human design. You're inspired by everything and you always want more information. Your tendency is going to be to question whether you know enough to actually go and do the thing. You'll second guess your knowledge. You'll eventually talk yourself out of doing the thing you set out to do because someone else probably knows more than you know and someone else would be better qualified to deliver the result. You just don't quite know enough yet. 
So instead of delivering from who you are, you let this undefined head center, this who you are not or your not self lead the way. And we all do it. This isn't a you problem, okay? This is a me thing too. We all do it. So this could look like buying course after course, searching endlessly for the next big thing, never really getting your offer out the door because you just don't know enough. Stop. Stop everything. (laughs) Exhale and then take a big deep breath. Go back to who you are and what you came here to do. Stand in who you're here to be and take your power back. So I've got some journal prompts for you as you start to look at what kind of a year you want to have in 2024. And what I would love to invite you to think about is not only what kind of a business do you want to have? What kind of a career do you want to have? I would love to invite you to look at what kind of a life do you want to have? How do you want to live in 2024 and beyond? Who do you want to be in your life? And go and build that life. So your journal prompts as you go through the next few days. Number one, who is the uninterrupted version of you? If nothing got in your way, who would you be? What do you absolutely love to do? And that doesn't have to be your moneymaker in life. It could be that, you know, your very favorite thing is to read a book with your grandchild. Well, go do more of that in 2024. It could be that you love to volunteer at a homeless shelter. Go do more of that in 2024. Where are the little places where you can bring joy into your life? Because when you make space for joy and when you make space for your own creativity, your moneymakers will come. You know, I think there's this thing where the universe can't pour more into us if we're at capacity. We need to make space for our creativity. We need to make space for our gifts so that they can come out to play. Your third question, what are some of my gifts? What are some of the things that you are really, really good at, even if they don't have anything to do with your business or your career? What are you really, really good at? Because I guarantee you there's gold in that for you. And then finally, how will you honor yourself first in 2024? How will you honor yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically, right? We need to take care of all three aspects of ourselves so that we can do what we came here to do. So when you're ready to look at your own human design, to look at the gifts that you came here with and to stand in the highest potential of who you're here to be, I'm ready for you. Actually, there's a Boxing Week sale on right now where you can book your human design reading at a discount. So you might want to head on over to the website. It's vickydixon.com and grab that while you still can at that special price. The link is in the show notes for you as well. Remember that life is going to kick you around. You know, 2024 is going to be no different than every other year that we have had. You're going to get kicked around a little bit. You're going to have lessons that you have to learn. You're going to have challenges and you're going to have opportunities to stand in the best version of you. Human design is really and truly your best shot at staying unjaded. 